Hey everyone, Cookie here. I have for you a CSR 30 Regicide gameplay. This one is on Dispatch. You'll notice right off the bat I spawn and I see someone. That's very, very common on Dispatch. In Rumble Pit and Regicide, you will almost always spawn looking at someone, and sometimes you'll spawn with them in your in your crosshairs. So if they aren't expecting it, you can go for the quick kill, and chances are you will get that first kill. So always look for people off spawn on dispatch. It's just a general tip. You'll notice what I'm doing right now. I do have a focus on the king. Uh, obviously, if I spawn, I'll look toward the king just to make sure, uh, just to see if the king is weak. If the king isn't weak, you know, I don't necessarily have to focus and like sprint toward the king. I know in another video I said to go for the king as much as possible in the beginning of the match. I guess that comment is more for if you're not seeing other people that you can kill. If there are enough people around you that you can kill, there really isn't that big of a need to go for the king. Or depending on the map, uh, going for the king is just a harder thing to do. This is a good example of why pulse grenades are pretty cool. Pulse grenades, uh, you know, they're not super useful in all situations, but in certain ones they are. But anyway, um, Dispatch is one of those maps where uh, going for the king all the time isn't really realistic. A lot of times you spawn across the map, like right here, I'm two people on my radar, I weaken one of them, you know, I end up picking up this prodigy guy and I still have to deal with another guy. Yeah, so two more on my radar and I have to deal with them. Alright, now I have three on my radar. So, if you'll notice, the king is across the map having his own battles, and dispatch just really doesn't facilitate going for the king. So, I just don't focus on the king. You'll notice that if the game is tight and there's someone who is like, is your biggest competition, they're trading the crown with you all the time, then going for the king exclusively is what you'll want to do. And another thing, if there's someone in the game who is constantly trading the crown with you, and you can tell is your biggest competition, then you can try to isolate them and go for them more than you do other people. I'm not saying that you should not kill other people that you happen to bump into, and I'm not saying that you should only ever go for them and like, and just single them out when you're being double teamed. Um, I'm just saying that. If you know they pick up a sniper rifle, for example, you want to take them out, focus on them so they don't get more kills. Because if you keep the second place person further behind, then you know the third place person probably isn't going to catch up. So that's just something, a general tip I recommend. If you notice someone is, is almost getting the crown or trading the crown with you. So as you notice, I got a King Tacular, or just survived 30 seconds as King, so I got no wrist shield. And I'm just trying to fend people off, but as King, with overshield, you really do just get melted, so there's nothing you can do about it. Just trying to get the kills that I can. I end up getting sniped there and then be hard by the other guy. One of the things about sniper rifles is that you don't have to pick it up on dispatch especially if you're the king the only way I'd pick it up is if I spawned right near it or if I weren't king so because if you're king you know people are gonna be rushing you and chances are all of your fights are gonna be close quarters and unless you trust yourself to, to hit every shot with the snipe you really shouldn't pick it up um, you can see right now scream picked up snipe but it's, he's not going to be super successful with it. He, he ends up picking me off, but right here is an example. Like, he has snipe. What can he do? You know, it just takes a few shots to get him weak, and then uh, someone else ends up fin finishing him off. But picking up snipe as king really isn't a good strategy, especially on dispatch. Maybe on abandon it is, but even then, if you're king, you really don't want to be picking up the snipe unless you spawn near it, and you know you can get a quick kill. So, as you'll notice, uh, the game is almost over and I'm not king. We have two people that are contending with me. There's Angie's and HHI Scream. We're pretty much trading the crown back and forth. See, I killed the king, so I become the king. And 
I get a triple kill. Pretty nice. All I need are two more kills in order to win the game. So this guy rushes me, beat him down, finish him off, turn to the side, try to take him out. I don't get the kill. And right here, I realize that I only need one more kill, so I really am just trying to rush in for it. I weaken this guy, and I end up taking him out for the last kill. Victory. So, once again, that was a CSR 30 Regicide gameplay on Dispatch. More gameplays to come. Like and comment if you would like, and subscribe to the channel. Also, spread the news so other people know about it. Because uh, I know that there aren't that many Halo exclusive YouTube channels anymore. But anyway, um, more gameplays to come, and see you later.